job creation um, and that we have a need, I think, for the car park, uh, which is not disputed, I, I believe. I was very concerned uh, looking at the objections, clearly, the well-crafted objections, that everything uh, that has been raised had been properly considered uh, in the light of policies and in the light of potential mitigations if the application were to be uh, approved. Uh, I have heard a lot of effort that has clearly been applied uh, to look at issues regarding uh, the light and the layout. I have to take a professional view on the issues surrounding the traffic flow uh, and the access and egress to the site, which clearly is very different if it were to be approved from the current status quo. On balance, I am supporting the application. Okay, thank you, Councillor Phil. Um, there's been a couple of councillors that have made mention to highway matters in respect to zebra crossings, uh, layouts of the car park, etc. Uh, we've got two highways professionals here this evening, and maybe one or both would like to maybe come in on the debate of those uh, issues of um, where the zebra crossings are positioned, the disabled access is another area of, of contention, and also the layout of the car park. Would you like to make any comments on that issue? Um, with, with respect to the zebra crossings, um, we appreciate that there are issues potentially crossing uh, stuff in the way currently. Uh, the crossing is very lightly used, um, so motorists are not used to actually stopping uh, to the cross. You know, as the number of people increases who are using the crossings, then uh, there is potential for that to, situation to actually improve. It's something we can keep an eye on, and uh, if we feel that there is an issue going forward, then we can actually consider making changes to the crossing, such as introducing some control crossing, if that's deemed necessary. I'm not quite sure what the issue is in relation to the layout of the car park. Um, any comments about the traffic assessment? Uh, the traffic assessment, yeah, we, we had a, um, an objection today which uh, we only looked at very late on today, so I um, had a great time to go through it. But if I can just quickly summarise our response to it, um, there was a query about uh, traffic assessment using traffic flows gathered in January. These were only used to calculate the uh, trip rates for the car park and were not used to assess the, uh, the loftings traffic. There were additional surveys actually undertaken in October. Uh, in my rush, I haven't uh, read it as November, but I did check with Red Row Homes today as to how many properties were occupied in November and they confirmed it was around 90. Um, there was another comment around the, the traffic model, the strategic traffic model that the borough has developed, that it is just uh, a 2016 base year scenario. It's not correct. We actually went to quite a lot of effort to uh, develop 2032 forecast year scenarios, uh, and including one with all the development factored in and one with uh, additional mitigations to uh, address capacity issues at certain junctions around the town centre. And we checked with WSP who actually prepared that model whether the loftings had been included in those 2032 uh, forecast scenarios and they confirmed that they had. Unfortunately, looking through the, the transport assessment, there does not seem to be any sort of statement regarding the trip rates calculations for the loftings itself. So we're unable to comment on that, but uh, I would concur that the, the change between the 2018 scenario and the 2032 reference case seems very small. Uh, I would say that it, it feels more like it should be background growth rather than um, taking account of the additional dwellings that would be occupied by that time. But as I say, without the, um, <coughs> any additional information in the transport assessment, I can't make any firm conclusions on that. Um, yeah, that's probably the, the bulk of what we need to say on that. The, the rest of the, the modelling we feel was carried out correctly. 
Thank you. Um, I think we're all done at this point. Um, just a few comments from myself. Um, sometimes we, as a local planning authority, have to take decisions that are not always popular with our local residents for a variety of reasons or neighbours. Um, and the reason being is that as members of the local planning authority, we have to be looking at the, each and every application in its own merits and, dis and discuss and debate whether we think it's right and appropriate for a car park to be located, in this particular case, for a car park to be located in Stafford Way. Now, some of you will remember there was a consultation process that was carried out. Um, there was a shop unit within the Nicholson Centre uh, that was open to members of the public for consultation on parking in general, and that was all around the town centre, etc. And uh, there was a great deal of concern and um, debate from those that attended that consultation event um, as to where are all the cars going to park. Um, because even then, there was a variety of proposals as part of any regeneration of Maitre Town Centre there would be displacement of traffic. Now, as members of the local planning authority, we sit with a slightly different hat than we would do as a local ward member, and I appreciate the comments that have been made by a local, the local ward members. Uh, I am also a local ward member, um, and I hear that we've got residents from Rushton Avenue and the fisheries here. Well, I'm also sure that they would be interested to know that when we first discussed the Vickers Way car park, it was at a full council meeting on the 19th of July, 2018. And at that uh, council meeting, it is duly recorded, um, and I quote, Councillor Hill congratulated Councillor D. Evans, David Evans, as the proposal was very welcome and was overdue. He believed this to be the right investment at the right time. And that was for the Vickers Way car park. Now, on that... Well, it is fact. I closing, I said it would not be public participation. I am making a statement of fact which is recorded in the full council minute. You might not like what you have been told. Anyway, we have... Councillor Claire Stratton. I'm sorry, Chairman, but what you've just read out is not material planning consideration. We were discussing whether we were going to fund a car park, not the basis of whether the car park should be built the particular design we can see. So how people voted in a full council meeting when they're sitting as councillors is, no, is completely immaterial to our decisions as a local planning authority. It's still nevertheless fact and the residents ought to be aware of that fact. Chairman, um, I think, can we go to the vote? I understand we're the next item. We were looking to move to the vote at this point. I was there to remind the uh, members we're sticking to planning matters. Make sure Nothing else. The, the first, the first motion that was proposed and seconded was the motion proposed by Councillor Richard Kellaway to move the officer recommendation, and that was duly seconded by Councillor Love. Councillor Claire Stratton did move a vote before Councillor Kellaway, but that was not seconded until after Councillor Love 
had already seconded Councillor Kellaway's motion and that was for the officer recommendation. Thank you, Chairman. Um, as I said, the motion put forward is for officer recommendation. Bear in mind where we are, I just need to point out what we're voting for. So if you vote for, then that means you believe and permission should be granted. If you vote against, it means you don't believe and permission should be granted. And you can abstain. Thank you, Chairman. So if I can pass, ask our clerk to do a known vote, please. Councillor Bullock. Four. Councillor Clark. Four. Councillor Mrs Hunt. Okay. Councillor Kellaway. Four. Councillor Love. Four. Councillor Sharp. Against. Councillor Smith. Four. Councillor Stretton. Against. Councillor Wilson. Four. Sure. <laughs> yeah. That's six, four, and three against. Therefore, that has been granted. What a load of rubbish. Close the meeting at 9.28.